Hello everyone, today you're in for a treat because I have four DIYs for you. I'm going to be using frames to decorate for winter and Christmas. And this video is in collaboration with Mary's DIY. She's a lovely YouTuber, so I'm going to leave the link to her channel and her video in the description box for you to check out. Are you ready? Let's get started with DIY number one. This DIY is one of my all time favourites, you're going to learn how to use a gift bag and make it into a lighted frame that looks really expensive. And you can always take these ideas and use them for any other holidays or seasons and they make really nice handmade gifts as well as decor. So all I did was measure the gift bag to the size of the frame and I've cut that out. Then you're going to hold that up to the light and mark where you want your LED lights to show. The tip here is to make sure that you count how many LED light heads you have so that you can make the marks accordingly. Then you're going to take some tape to stick down the LED lights where you've marked on the paper. This is going to look pretty messy but don't worry because the back isn't going to be seen. And as simple as that the DIY is pretty much complete, just put it back in the frame and you're done. And so here's the first DIY now complete. As I mentioned before, this is one of my favourite DIYs to do. It's so quick, easy and simple and the best thing about it is that it looks so expensive. No one will ever know it's just from a gift bag that you can even reuse. And I just simply think this is such a nice gift idea. So if you're looking for a last minute gift, this is for you. Now we're on to our second DIY and I know I said this about the first one but I love this. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I mean, we all like shakers, right? They are so fun. Once you've got your frame out, you're going to go onto Google and you're going to look for a quote and a nice font that you like, print it out, make sure it fits the size of your frame and then you're going to put that paper under your glass so that you can write on top of it with an acrylic painter pen. Once you've finished, put your glass back in and take some snowflakes and some white glitter and pour that on the base of your frame. Then you're going to go onto the internet and search up any background that you like. This is the one that I've chose and I'm just measuring it up to my frame so that it fits, cutting it out and then putting it into the back and closing my frame. And here's our second frame DIY now completed. As I said before, I really do love this one. It reminds me of a winter wonderland and I love winter wonderlands. They're just so magical. I love that this is a functional decor piece, but it's also really fun to give it a shake. So now we're going to move on to our third DIY. And for this frame DIY, you're going to be making a miniature scenery inside. Again for this I'm starting off by looking up some images on the internet and I selected which one I wanted, printed it out on some card, measured it up and just cut it to size. Then I'm sticking it down with some Mod Podge, I'm also applying a layer of Mod Podge on top just to give it some gloss. I really do recommend doing this because it gives life to the image as you can see now. And now I'm just taking my hot glue gun and sticking these miniature trees down onto the bottom of the frame. And then you're going to stick down any miniature figurine that you have like a reindeer or a snowman with some hot glue. And then cover the base with some salt to act as snow. This is one of my favourite parts of this DIY, I'm taking some wooden embellishments and adding colour using my acrylic painter pens. I've also got these miniature stars and I'm doing the same with those. And once you're done you're going to take some clear string and hot glue the stars and the moon onto the string and then the string onto the top of your frame. Now 
Now you're going to bring back the seam that you printed out earlier and add that to the back of your frame. Then just do your frame up and you're done. And here's a third DIY now completed. Isn't it just beautiful? I feel like I can look at this all day, but I am a sucker for miniature scenes. I really like this frame because it has mixed media, lots of different textures and elements, and it just all comes together really nicely, in my opinion anyway. Okay, so moving on, we are on to our fourth and final DIY in this video. So this is a frame that you're going to learn how to make. And again, you're going to go onto Google and type in seasonal greetings text, find one that you like, and this time you don't have to print it out. I'm just copying it via the screen. So I'm just using a Sharpie in gold to go over the text on the screen and I'm just reusing the paper that was already inside the frame. Then once you've completed that you're going to flip your paper over and put it inside your frame. Then you're going to take two twigs and hot glue them to the glass and the side of the frame. I'm also taking some of this greenery and just cutting it off with some pliers and some berries and I'm hot gluing those onto the twigs. Then you're going to take some artificial snow and hot glue that to the bottom of your frame. Then once you're done, go outside and spray the whole thing with some snow spray. This is optional but I just really wanted to add a bird on the top so I just hot glued him into place. And now it's time to add the final thing which is our LED lights and I'm going to do this on the sides of the frame using some sticky foam pads. And here's the final DIY for today. Woo, that was so many in one video. I hope that you love every single one of these ideas. I mean, this is edited for under 10 minutes, but let me tell you, it takes so long to create each one of these and then edit it. So I hope that you have enjoyed and that you can leave me a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more content like this. I also want to know which one of these is your favorite. I always love reading your comments, so do let me know down below. As always, thank you all so much for the support. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.